everybody, Olav here, and welcome back to Let's Play the Turing Test. So, uh, we have found out that, number one, our last name is Turing. We are Ava Turing. Uh, and number two, our computer is, his, his consciousness, his awareness has been split. Uh, there are two instances to his brain. One that was up in the ship with us, and one that has... And, and one inside the base here. Basically, when communication was cut, at that point, his his brain, his, his mind basically split off into two. One that was aware of everything going on in the base, and that's it, that gained certain knowledge and gained certain ideas and stuff that way, and one that was cut off from the base and continued on there. Which is an interesting idea, because that means that our computer, our, our computer's kind of personality, if he has a personality, could drastically change. So let's get on into it. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here, when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Uh, the ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is okay. a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Really? Naturally. As any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Okay. Interesting. Things are getting more and more weird. I suppose is the only way to put it, is they are getting more and more weird. So, okay, now we switch it to the window. We can take that, throw that there, take this one, put it over into here, right? Yes. And then we can come up here. All right, so we need to, we need to balls of energy there. But that one's safeguarded. That one's safeguarded. Ah, so if I put... If I can put one in here... Is there anything back in this... Well, there's... There's a... Uh, Whoa, what, what, what happened here? Okay, so I need something. Oh, right. That opens both of those. Is there anything over here? No, there's not. Okay, I don't see any other balls of energy here. Nothing there. Okay, so switch it to the window. Except for no, we don't want that there. We want that up there. We want this. Here. Okay, so obviously there has to be a ball of energy somewhere that I can vacuum from somewhere. To throw into there. 
But where is it? Cause see, those are both sa those are both sealed. Hmm. There's nothing in there. Well, now this is, this is kind of puzzling for me. Okay. That's just telling me what level essentially I'm on. Okay, any switches? No. Plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. No, all right. Huh. So we can come up here. And there's one right there that, but we can't grab it from that angle. Can we grab it from this angle? No, we can't. We can't grab it, period. Wait, what if we take you? We put you there. Okay. Put you there. Put you there. Aha! Yes, so then we should be able to come around here, pick you up, shoot you there, open that door. Yes! Alright, and snag you. Put you down there. Hop on down. Pick you. Shoot you there. There we go, alright! See, I'm not, I, I'm not completely ignorant. Whoa. What are we doing here? Oh, um, okay, so that does not seem to be working to, all right, So I just have to like creep on along? Cause I think it's basically, it's a motion sensor. And if it senses too much motion too quickly. It'll cut the power. Interesting. Not terribly thrilling as far as gameplay or particularly watching somebody play, but. Woohoo! Okay. So then we pop that, we open this. All right, uh, shall we have a polite conversation? Yes? Oh, I think you're a robot. Why? I'm simply not convinced that you are a human. I think you might be a robot. But I am not. Yes, you are definitely a robot. Why would you say that? You have failed the Turing test, you are a robot. I'm a drone? What? I, that is so not what I typed. True. 
I am a robot. Yes, you are. I am controlled by my programming. Now you're kidding it. I am totally not typing this. Okay, just to prove this, just to prove this, watch. I'm pushing just J. I'm just gonna press J. I have not no free will. Whatever keys are pressed, it makes no difference. Wow, okay, so they're kind of, I, why, why, why? I want to escape. I so desperately want to escape because I'm hitting escape. Help, I can't escape, I want to break free. Please let me out, get me out. I'm a machine, I have no control, I must escape. Goodbye robot, whoa. Okay, that just got trippy as, trippy as balls. That's just, why? So what if I take that one, jump down. Oh, it won't let me, it won't let me through with that. It won't let me through with the ball of energy. That's freaking just, what? Uh, so yes, if you've been watching my series, you know that I'm pretty sure we are a Did robot. The ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Really? You, you constructed yourself? Okay, yeah, it does. Have you heard of the Turing test? Ava, it's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. There you go. That's a proper Turing test. test. A human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which right. of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. Uh-huh. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test. If the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine, and which is with a human. Yeah. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of a light conversation. Wouldn't you say? This, that, that might have been a huge mistake, but. So yeah, so they, they do differentiate and, and decide and can differentiate between what an actual Turing test is and what it is supposed, you know, what an actual Turing test is versus the, you know, this, this, this complex being a Turing test. Okay, so we can get that one across there. That's fine. But now, see, we need... Okay, okay, so we need to... Right, I get it, I get it. Okay. I get what you're laying down here, buckaroos. We can drop down here. Say, pull that. I got it. Put you there. Now we can carry you across. We don't have to climb any ladders or anything. We just have to boom. Climb up. Put you there. Now we climb down here. say snag you because with the ball we can climb a ladder because that's actually held by our gun which is swinging on our hip at this point 
I want to take a shortcut, I can. And that completes the circuit. Now, what is down here? Is anything down here? No, that those stairs just there in case I fall. All right. So yes, they do recognize the 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 what an actual Turing test is. But which confuses me so why did they give misinformation earlier? And they blatantly gave misinformation as to what a Turing test is. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside okay. The room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Okay. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction well, no. book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This yeah. is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation. While the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Uh, good question. Okay, so I have to snag this and run across here real quick. But why did I have to snag it from there? Couldn't I have snagged it from up here? Oh, because I ha there, I must have to put it in something down here. Or from this angle. Right, okay. So, power it up. Run, 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 run. Thank you. Okay. Gotcha. This game is so much freaking fun. Okay, so. Should save here. Yes, it is. Good. Because that is all the time we have for today. Ugh. I love this. I, 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 I love this game. It is... Now that they have acknowledged what an actual Turing test is and some of the criticisms of a Turing test, it's going to get a whole lot more interesting. But that is all the time we have for today, I'm afraid. As always, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy Cheerio! and also lazy, you should meet me and my friends. Even though I thought there was no a money, quick, sure this was like a quick path we'll back to, ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, all right, cool. Check creator however you can, because otherwise they're spending their time, they're spending their money making stuff, oh, making all this stuff, and they're getting nothing. 